Okay guys, so today is a very important day for this channel and for me. Um, so I have an RC unboxing today. Um, it's a very, it's a RC that I wanted for a very long time and it was either going to be my um, Stampede, which I did get, or it was going to be the truck I'm going to show you. But you can probably tell from the description box, it's a Trax Summit. So, I'm going to do the unboxing for you guys today. Now, this is a very exciting day for me. And you may notice the uh, camera is a lot further back than it usually is, and that I cannot reach it. Well, that's because this is how big the box is. Oh! Here it is, guys. Traxxas Summit. Um, this is not the little one. This is the big one. Um, still has factory wrapping on it. <laughs> So, we're just going to go over a couple of things on the box. So, um, this has the TQI with Bluetooth. So, this has telemetry. Um, I mean, it's made for crawling and, um, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's made for crawling and it's not made to go fast. So, I mean, there was really no need for telemetry, but it's a good touch. Um two nickel metal hydride seven cells because this thing is so big that it cannot take uh, one battery it has to take two two speed transmission with um, differential locking just front none or both so that's the very exciting part that I like so what we're gonna do is we are going to oh yeah and since they don't come with wall chargers anymore I had to buy the wall adapter because it comes with a uh, car charger. So, yeah. So, why don't we cut this thing open, shall we? I didn't even need to cut it. Uh, Alright. And we'll get to it. Yes, I am going to make you guys sit through this part. So, just hang with me. Set that in the back right there, get the paper off the bottom, and there we go. So now let me cut the tape right here. Actually, we're going to go from this side, because this is the back. So we're going to cut right here, and uh, this is the blue one. So let's open this monster up. Okay. So right when you open the box, what comes first is the TQI. Now let me give you a look at this. I'll come up here for this. So here's the TQI. Um, as you can see, it's the Bluetooth. Um, so right here, this is the transmission switch um, between high and low gear. Um, and it's very easy to access with your thumb because you can uh, just flip it like this when you're using the throttle and everything. So yeah, that's a nice touch. And then right here you'll see there is a three position switch that's up here. This is for the, um, I think this is front locked, no locked, and all locked. I think that's the positions, but I'm going to wait for that. So yeah, this is the uh, TQI. So... 2.4 gigahertz, so yeah. This is my first controller like this, so I'm pretty excited. So let's get to the truck. So bring this back up in here. Um styrofoam. Oh boy. Okay. Ugh. Put this down here. Move all of this. Put it back here for now. So, bring this here. Oh, oh boy. Woo! That's a big old truck. So, bag of parts. We'll go over this too. What? Oh, that's big. That is extremely big. Oh my goodness. 
So, uh, and I love how they have it squatting because they had to compress the suspension to make it fit in the box. So, let's just take the plastic off of the body first. If I can get this body clip off. Dang it. There we go. We're not going to go to the insides yet, but I will give you a tutorial on that. Oh, look at that body, guys. That is nice. So we're going to set this on here for now. I'm going to go over what's in the bag first, guys. I don't care if that's boring. This is going to be a full video on everything. So I'm going to put the truck down for a minute while I go over that. So set it down here. Oh, that's 13 pounds, by the way, guys. Um, so where the bag of parts go, here it is. So, why don't I cut this open? Bang. Alright. We'll just pull everything out. All of these papers up in here, and then throw the bag over here. Alright, so useless papers. Um, this is about all the warranty and all that kind of stuff. Um, some stickers. I like stickers. Stickers are pretty good. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like the, uh, body clip stickers for the hood. Those are cool. Um, top qualifier performance guide. So this is just, like, uh, shows you what you can do. Um, more useless papers. And here is the, uh, manual. The summit manual with lots of writing and everything. So, yeah, put that there. Okay, now we got these bags. So in this bag, I'm not going to open this one because there are small parts, but there is that. There's screws. Don't know what that is right there, but that's a spare part. There is screws, and then they give you body clips. So that's gone over with. Um, and then what we can do is open up this bag right here with all these tools in it. Ouch. I just cut myself. Okay. So, here is a wrench. Don't know what it's for yet. I still got to read the manual and everything. Um, so there's a wrench. Here's a Allen wrench. What I've seen people use this for is the B blocks on the wheels. Um, the fake bead locks, but there is real screws. Um, this is a wheel wrench, I think. Yeah, that's a, this is a wheel wrench. So they'll give you that. Um, here's a 5mm wrench for the, uh, links. I'll show you that later. Um, here's another, um, wrench right here. Sorry, the camera's far away so you can see the truck. Um, here's a, another Allen wrench, and another Allen wrench, so lots of Allen wrenches. Um, more wrenches, I really don't know what these are for, because I haven't read it yet, but I'll figure it out. Um, this sort of wrench, and a wrench that you usually use on, uh, wheels for, like, the Stampede and all the other vehicles that are not 1A scale. So, let me put this stuff back in the bag. And then we will, I'll open up the charger, and then I'll go over the truck with you. But if you don't want to go over the charger and all that, then you can just skip ahead in the video. Uh, this is a good day for me. Alright, let me put this down here. Just like that. Now I'll open up the charger. Just like that. And I will show you guys what I mean why you had to buy the adapter. Okay, so, first of all, this is the end that they give you. Now, this is for the cigarette lighter on a car. So, if you want to charge the battery, you have to plug this into the cigarette lighter of a car. And that is a really big pain in the butt, and that's their way, that's Traxxas's way of making more money. Because they also have to sell you this adapter. And I will open up this adapter right now for you so I can show you how this works. 
Okay, so this is the wall end of this charger, okay? And then this is the cigarette lighter end. So what you're gonna wanna, gonna wanna do is you wanna take the cigarette lighter end of this and plug it into the end of this charger. Like that. So then what you can do is you plug this end into the wall, sends the power through the adapter, and then into this charger, which then charges your battery. Um, so yeah, that's for the charger. Um, now we can go over the fun part, which is the truck. So let's bring that back up here. Oh, man. Okay. So first off, the first thing you notice about this is that awesome body that's on there. Um, take that off. Oh, lots of torque. And then I'll just put these body clips back up in here. Sorry, I don't really do editing on my videos because I want to show you like the full thing about like everything. So, so this is the blue one, as you can see. Um, this body has a very good amount of weight to it, but the cool thing about this body is the cage that's around it. That, that makes it, uh, very structural, gives it structural integrity. Um, it also gives it really cool looks, because it looks like it can't really be broken very easily. Um, but this body comes in four colors. It comes in blue, which is this one. Um, comes in black, red, and green. The green is newer. The green replaced the yellow that they used to have. And this is the updated graphics body. So, yeah, this is really nice. The solid blue old one would just look like blue like that. Except the entire body. But yeah, this body is really cool. So let me set this down here. And now, we have the truck. Ugh! This thing is a monster. This thing is 13 pounds. So as you can see, it's very low to the ground, and that's because they tied down the suspension so that um, they could fit it in the box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unleash the suspension so you can see just how much travel this thing has. So there's the front. And be careful not to cut any wires. And there's the back. So bring this off to the back over here, and there we go guys, wow that suspension is amazing, that is crazy amount of suspension travel. That's one of the reasons why I got this is for the awesome suspension travel. And it has the cantilever style suspension, oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see it, but these cantilevers right here, these are long travel. You could see it when I press the shock, the great thing that's moving. Those are the cantilevers, and those, um, what was I about to say? And those are what make it have so much suspension travel with the short shocks they put on it. Um, let me take this off of here, and then we can go over the truck. So the thing that's really cool about this is, one, the massive wheels. These are huge, okay? Um, so here, there's my hand. It's as big as my hand. So that's really big. And then another thing is if you look up front, uh, those LEDs, those actually work. So there's two, four in the front. There's one there, two right there, and then another one on the other side. And then if you turn it around to the back, uh, there is six. So three on that side and three on that side. And they actually work. So, for um, the motor in this thing, they have the very, very large Titan 775 sized motor. Um, that's what you would find in most, like, power tools these days. Um, and for an ESC, they have the EVX2 waterproof ESC, which is right here. Um, this one does have the lipo cutoff built in, but if you have an older model, it will not have the lipo cutoff. Um, 
Oh yes. Uh, so if you look right here, look at all those servos. There is, oh, it's too heavy and too far away, but there is, um, one, two, three, four, five servos in this thing. So, don't know if you could see, but these two big ones right here, those are the steering servos. They connect underneath. Um, this servo is for the front diff, I think. Locking the front, this one's for locking the back, and this one is for changing the two-speed transmission. So, that's why there's five servos. And to make this entire truck run, here is what they give you. There's one. This truck is 13 pounds, by the way. This thing's friggin' huge. And here's two. That's a hell of a lot lighter without those batteries in there. But, so here's what they give you. Ugh. Here's what they give you. These are two um, seven cell nickel metal hydrides. Um, 3000 milliamp hour um, ID connectors. So they give you two of these. But you can also run this on two cell lipo. That was low gear by the way. I'm guessing. So you can also run this on two cell lipo. Um, cause it's the same amount of power. Oh my goodness. But yeah, two cell lipo is the same amount of power. Let me get this foam off of the wheel. I'm sorry. These are very sticky, very soft wheels. Um, what else? Oh yes, very large drive shafts. As you can see in the front there, very large drive shaft, and they have some boots on it. Um, right here, the blue is the boot. And then if you look on the inside, there's also boots on the caster block. Um, that's And you can use those for adjusting your uh, camber and caster and all of that. So there should be a little bit of charge left in these batteries from the factory. So I just want to show you those LEDs really quick once I get this battery back in. It's very simple to put them back in. It's just held shut with two little clips. So very easy. Slip that in there. Close the clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this one in. And I'm going to plug this one in. Uh, and then when we turn it on. So what you see, there's the LEDs up front. Now you could do some night driving with them. I can see the light on my hand very far away. And then here is the rear LEDs. So I'm going to turn this back off now because I don't want to use up the charge in the batteries. So um, I really don't know what else to say about it besides this thing is a beast. I mean, you either have a Traxxas Summit or you don't have anything like it. People compare the E-Revo and this, but the E-Revo is nothing like this. This has two-speed transmission, remote locking differentials, a heck of a lot more suspension travel, bigger wheels, LEDs, it just has so much more. And it can get over a whole lot more. Let's see, those diffs are unlocked. And these diffs are unlocked, so the diffs are unlocked right now. Um, so, how long is my video? Does this say 19 or 10? I don't know, I'm sorry, I can't read. But, um, so yeah, the Traxxas Summit. There is a... I've been planning on getting one of these ever since 2010 when I got my Stampede. Um... So it was either going to be this, or it was going to be the Stampede, so I decided to get the Stampede because I really wanted an RC car, and it was cheaper. So I ended up getting the Stampede, and now, um, 15 to 16 years later, I have this. The big, big, some, some people say it's 5th scale, but I'm going to say it's 8th scale because of how big this thing looks. 
Um, this is definitely bigger than a one-tenth scale. I can tell you that right now. Um, I don't really have anything to give you for a size comparison, but this thing is an absolute monster. So when people ask me what I should get, I always tell them Atraxxus Summit because they're awesome. They don't break easy. They're very durable, and they just look really cool. And um, the suspension is great on them, as that's what they're known for. Hold on, let me see if I can show you here. If it'll fit on the table this way. So I'll just lift up the suspension. Heck yeah, that's a, that's a lot of suspension. Excuse me. Um, but anyways, so that's going to be the video for now. Um, I will do a running video on this thing completely stock, but I think I'm going to get it all tuned up today and just get a couple of runs with it for right now before I make a video on it so I can give you guys more information about it. Um, but I am very, very excited to get an R to get this RC. This is the most excited I've been in a very long time. Um, so comment, like, rate, subscribe. Um, go follow me on Instagram. It's RC underscore drag car underscore station. Um, so, I have it up on the remote right now, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so if you like this, hit the like button. If you have anything to say or ask me or give me suggestions about, because I always like your guys' input, put it in the comments. Um, and just thank you guys for all the support. This is going to be the third remote controlled car that I have. Um, actually this is a truck, but this thing is insane. Like, I can't even explain how happy I am to have this. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. So, thank you guys so much, and see ya.